Hello everyone, and welcome back to what is probably our final episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, we are picking up right where we left off last time, and we are going to be entering the Keeper's Caverns. Alright, it's time to go and show Ranrock who's boss. He's been doing some... I should hope that the enchantments protecting the castle would protect against an incursion from below. I fear they may not. Although, if they don't now, I can assure you, they will in the future. Were you able to reach Professor Weasley? I was. Hopefully she and the others will arrive soon. They know where to find the door through which we entered. Alright, anyways, I was saying, uh, Ranrock, he's been a bit of a dick, so we're gonna probably kill him. The goblins. Damn goblins. Let's go. Alright, goblins. It's just you and me now. And Professor if Fig, I guess. Here, he cannot be far behind. Ah, uh, crap! You know what I just realized? Uh, I I meant to brew up some more Wigan Weld potions. Okay, it's it's a little cowardly, but. <laughs> Oh, son of a... Okay, well, that didn't work out the way I had uh, initially anticipated it to go. Alright. Get out of the way of this guy. Let's uh, throw this here so we can actually break through his thing. Holy crap, they've got a lot of reinforcements. I did a, a very poor job of being sneaky. I'm hiding a bunch of them because of them. Alright. So, see, like, why did I get hit there? It, it doesn't warn you when you're getting attacked off screen. If they attack you and you're not looking directly at them sometimes, it seems like they're just like, well, clearly uh, you wanted to get hit anyways. Alright. This should be the last of them. Well, on the plus side, we got a Wigan Weld potion. This drill stands between us and him. We need to move it. I shall handle it. One moment. Let's go. Dang. That's pretty impressive. That was a very large drill. I try and use the pulse on a troll, and it basically does nothing, so. Alright, so. <laughs> Arguably a little cheaty, but. Something I saw that you can do. This guy throws a uh, boulder at me. That works too. Uh, I can then Avada Kedavra both of the trolls. Boom, and that uh, that just cut down a significant portion of this fight. Because. Uh, down in the bottom left, it says, defeat the loyalists and their trolls. Well, we've already defeated the trolls. It did not take long at all. And our Avada Kedavra can recharge. I am curious if it'll let me use Avada Kedavra on um, Ranrock himself. Because it did let us use it on Rookwood, which I think is very funny. Because there's, there's no reason we should have been able to. Gather up any potions we can. Rebellion. I will say, we're finding quite a lot of potions, so we're pretty close to being maxed out. Oh, speak of the devil. Um, okay, there's professor, something over here, wall, Professor. That's the way forward. Very perceptive, my young friend. It worked. Let's go. Ranrock must be getting closer to finding the repository. I fear you're right, Professor. 
There's nothing we can do but keep searching. Listen, more goblins up ahead. What? Okay, well that one didn't even offer me the chance to uh, sneak, so I think uh, in this case it wanted me to fight. We'll get them all cursed. Well, if I say that, they were all dead by the time I cursed them all, but uh, curse as many of them as we can so that way you're kind of doing chip damage to the ones that you're not directly attacking. Because that's one of the talents I picked up. Um, all cursed enemies take damage whenever you attack another cursed enemy. It's like a quarter of the damage or something. It's not significant, but it's enough. Alright, Professor Fig, don't get beaten up too much by this guy. I do want to see, instead of... Oh, Professor Fig just obliterated him instead. Alright, take out these warriors, albeit I probably should- Excuse you. That gave me like no warning. It gave me warnings for a quarter of a second and then disappeared. Alright, we will take out- oh. Professor Fig keeps, like, once we're down to the last person, Professor Fig just goes absolutely wild. Alright, another one over here. Alright, push on through. Ah, more goblins. Who woulda thunk? Oh, and more trolls. Who woulda thunk? These guys look kind of entrenched. They look like they've been here for a while. All of our professors coming to help. Somehow evaded the castle's defensive charms. Stay them this way. We shall make quick work of them. Huh. They got this. Quite the battle going on. I do think it's interesting. Um, all of these goblins still aren't using wands, even though obviously they don't care about wizard laws. Which, uh, <laughs> bye guys. Um, wizard law demands that they don't have wands, but I mean they don't follow wizard law, so you would expect them to have wands. All right, that ranger up top was taken out, so I kind of can put my back to it for the time being. Just focus up on these guys. There we go, now if you look on the left, we're also dealing damage to that ranger at the same time. It's pretty cool talent. I mean, obviously it doesn't deal nearly as much damage, but... Hey, I can't carry any more Wigan Lord potions. Let's go. <laughs> oh, he's worse than the last two. Thinking about it, um... 
No, Professor. You would expect them to have something to say about me using the killing curse, but man, they don't care. Also, hello, Professor uh, Sharp. Alright, Assassin is going down. One way or another, I'm taking this guy out because the Assassins are annoying. There we go. And now, we can actually focus on these last couple of guys because they're not as annoying. Oh, what's going on? Another fighter troll. I would like to remind us that we are underneath Hogwarts, so destroying stuff like this. Hello there, Professor Weasley. Um, destroying stuff like this does make uh, the foundations of Hogwarts a bit less sturdy. I'm sure it wasn't supporting anything important, anyways. It was just the Slytherin common room that ended up collapsing. It is always kind of funny that Slytherin gets such a bad rap, just because, like, I think they're supposed to be cunning and ambitiousness, which I, I can get it, but it's also like, dang, they kind of get the the um, back end of the stick when it comes to how they get treated. Alright, we get to fight two big boys. Does the killing curse work on these guys, perchance? That would be kind of funny. The wand! Quickly! Oh. Cool. You guys are finally friendly. Got here before Ranrock. I can't believe this is it. The repository has been under the castle for hundreds of years. Think of all the pain that created it. This is what Miriam, George, your friend Lodgok, and countless others died for. Miriam believed this forgotten magic could be used for such good. But she did not know the risks. She did not see what the Keepers have shown you. What Isadora showed you. You are now the Keeper of whatever power it holds. What do you intend to do with it? Keep it contained or open it? Why would I open it? I do think, like, there should be a third option. Destroy it. There's no reason to keep the temptation around, but, uh... I guess we'll do what the keepers want and keep to it leave contained. The repository as it is. I'm pleased to hear that. I've been thinking. What is it, Professor? I spent all year trying to keep our journey a secret from everyone, including Professor Weasley. But now I wonder if I should have shared it with her and the others sooner. Trusted them more. Probably. The keepers wanted this secret to be locked away forever. How long will you keep it? Uh, for now or forever? Uh, we'll keep it secret for now. I plan to keep it secret for now. But in time, when I'm ready, I plan to tell those I trust everything and accept their help. I believe that is what Miriam would have wanted. We should trust in others. 
If anyone can rise to this challenge, my friend, it is you. God. The arrogance of wizard kind. Goblins built this repository. It belongs to us. Enough, Ranrock. It was never yours. I've been wanting to play with this. Miriam's wand. If she'd simply handed over the container, all of this could have been avoided. Foolish, self-important witch. <coughs> Seems you were two of a kind. She didn't know when to give up either. <laughs> Oh. Well, good job. He just instantly blew up the repository. Also, some nice ASMR in the ears. Him just breathing in and out. Or, excuse me, heavy growling, as the game calls it. What the heck is it turning him into? Turned him into a dragon? Well, that's not very fair. I want to be a dragon. Oh, Jesus Christ. Professor Fig, no. Did Fig just get crushed? <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, but, like, that came out of nowhere. Holy crap. Okay, Fig's dead. Feeding off the power from the repository. <laughs> oh, uh, hello. Your magic is your match for my child. What's that? Stoop to Oh, um. Okay, wait. I want to try... Oh, it didn't work. Aw. Well, it was worth a shot. Can I just bombard the heck out of him with all my ancient magic? There we go. Oh, it said that I could um, toss that back at him. Okay, so... Next time it has a dodge... Uh, yeah, you can launch it back at Are you attacking me from all this distance? I'm not even in the arena to fight you yet. Alright, where's the thingy I can smack? Do I have to go down for it? Oh, I have to you keep going. Stop me. Don't mind me, Mr. Dragon, just uh, trying to get my bearings. Um, okay, let us. Ah. That was bad timing on my part, I will say. All right. Um, Inferno or in Inferno Incendio isn't gonna do us any good here, so Bombarda should do us some good. I missed the. All right, so I guess we just slowly beat him up. What was that? What the heck was that? Not sure what that just did. Um. All right. 
just keep beating him up. Those rocks deal pretty good damage, so uh, keep throwing those at me, buddy. I, I am uh, a bit surprised with myself. I thought that this was going to be a bit of a harder fight. <laughs> I mean, my god, he's tanky as can be, but I don't know, I was expecting um, to be using all of these Wigan Weld potions that I've been collecting. Alright, what do we got? Arresto momentum. Arresto momentum. Ow, I am on fire. <laughs> Bombarda. Alright, and we want to keep him cursed as much as possible because uh, curses deal extra damage to people. Holy crap, I almost got hit by that. Alright, we've almost got him down. A little more, my friend. Just... There we go. I have a general idea. Um, I'm just trying to see if anything will be helpful. Potion that enhances defense. I don't need that. Spell damage. That could be good. We can put that on for the next one. I do wish that there was like a... Since there's a Wigan Weld potion have like a... I guess I don't know why there would be a spell for it because ancient magic isn't known by people, but like a mana potion essentially. Whoa, I'm floating in midair. <laughs> Where are you at, bucko? Why would I give up? I've already taken out half of your health. Alright, Arresto Momentum. Stay out of range of that. Alright, and then we beat him up. Oh, crap, press the wrong button. There we go. Press the right one that time. Yeah, I have um, no intention of giving up, friend. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, I'm kind of winning, so... Do wish I had more ancient magic. I know it's 100% my fault. Well. Ah, crap. Um, okay. We will do that instead then. Oh, and... Followed by that guy. Uh, ow. Oh, you landing? Okay, that'll make you a bit easier to hit. Uh... I, I do want him to stay out of my face, I will add. Oh, there's a potion on the ground. Crap! Pressing all the wrong buttons. Alright, get him cursed if possible, so that way we can, uh... Deal extra damage. Oh, I just realized we aren't actually using this potion we're talking about. Oh wow, okay, that's dealing way more damage all of a sudden. Ow. Sir, please get off of me. Here, while we have it active, let us... 
Fringo. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Professor Fig's dead. Rest in peace, dude. The game just like totally glossed over the fact he got crushed. Like if I wasn't paying attention, never would have known. Ow! Okay, this is starting to hurt. Starting to have to chug potions a little bit. He's getting a little too in my face. Crap, I keep pressing the wrong button. I keep pressing X instead of, um... X in instead of Z to throw the stuff back. Oh, I killed him. Well, rest in peace, you nerd. Oh wait, is he still? How are you still alive? You have like no health left. Um. Okay, wait. We need. I I missed. <laughs> Just hit the thing. God dang it! Oh my god! Don't die right here. Jesus Christ! Okay, there we go. Lodgok, you are the chosen one. But I had the high ground in the end. I actually didn't, I mean I was fighting a dragon after all, but... Once again, we are underneath Hogwarts. Like, is this not gonna collapse the castle? No big deal. It's just, you know, <laughs> the foundations of a hundreds upon hundreds of years old castle. I'm sure it can withstand all of this crumbling rock. Professor Fig's alive? Dude, I watched you get crushed by a rock. <laughs> Maybe he apparated, like, last second? So this is why um, destroying the repository wasn't an option. Uh, having all of this loose power, I guess, is quite volatile. Either I would have to absorb it like Ranrock did, or it has to stay in the repository. So I'm guessing it's like a good ending, bad ending sort of thing. Well, I'm going to be boring and get the good ending, I suppose. What? Why is Professor Fig dying again all of a sudden? Miriam. Did it catch up to him that he was being crushed by a rock? <laughs> Miriam would have loved you, my young friend. Professor, no. <laughs> the Wizarding World could not be. Hands. Aw, that's actually kind of sweet. <sighs> Requies got in pace. So, did containing the repository stop all of the cavern from collapsing, I guess? <clears throat> Professor Eleazar Fig, 
I dare say he was a beloved professor to many of you, suddenly a long-standing colleague to his peers. A famed adventurer and seeker of knowledge, he built a reputation charging into the unknown, brazenly disregarding both discretion and safety, providing perhaps a rather unfortunate lesson for us all. His devotion to adventure was rivaled only by his dedication to Hogwarts. And of course, to his wife, Mary, uh, Midi, um, whom we lost much too soon as well. Professor Fig represented the best of all of us. Oh, he could be deviously clever, possessed a brilliantly inquisitive mind, and was the most loyal of friends. But perhaps it was his remarkable courage for which we will all be forever indebted to him. If not for Professor Fig, well, I can say with confidence that if not for him, many of us, let alone Hogwarts, would not be here today. Those that knew him best will agree that we must now honor him as only Hogwarts can, by wisely, resourcefully, Justly and bravely facing all that lies ahead. <clears throat> to Professor Fig! I will say, give the man some credit. Uh, Headmaster Black's um, speech, it started out nice and then it kind of deteriorated. Please meet me as soon as possible. can't believe we lost what Fig. What the heck? I didn't know him as well as you did, but I know he was a good man. Glad Weasley spoke for him. She honored him well. Fig will be well remembered. I wish the same could have been done for my uncle. I wonder if there's a chance Anne would meet me. Sebastian. I can't imagine what you and Anne are going through. Perhaps you'll hear from her soon. I hope so. I... I'll let you know. Sebastian, there's something you should know. It's to do with Victor Rookwood. I heard a rumor that he confronted you outside of Ollivander's. Sounds as if he faced quite a fight. The rumors are true, and I did. But it's not that. Just before Rookwood attacked, he uttered something familiar. The same words Anne heard before she was cursed. Children should be seen and not heard. Wait, what, what are you saying? It wasn't one of Ranrock's loyalists who cursed Anne. It was Rookwood. It was Rookwood all along. This, this can't be. It was the loyalists. It's always been them. The night Anne was cursed, all she saw were goblins. Once Rookwood allied with Ranrock, Isadora's estate became of interest to them both. That's why Rookwood was there the night Anne was cursed. He was working with Ranrock. When he saw your sister, well, he didn't want anyone to know. So he cursed her, and she's never been the same. So cruel. Rookwood deserved what he got. Thank you for telling me. It wasn't a goblin. I suppose I owe you an apology. All this time I thought goblins were the enemy, but it was never that simple. Ominous said he's spoken with Anne. I wonder if she'll see me. I'll find out and send word when I know more. Okay. Um, kind of weird it jumped straight into that conversation, but... Oh yeah, I guess we're now in the summer. We completed our, uh... First slash fifth year at Hogwarts? <laughs> I'd be pretty angry, like, you find out that there's this beautiful magical school and you immediately get disqualified from four of your seven years. 
Uh, congratulations, you have completed the story of Hogwarts Legacy and reached the end of your school year. With your OWL exams fast approaching, now is a good time to review your field guide progress. Explore the world, finish any remaining relationship storylines and side quests, and complete your field, field guide as you see fit. I think I know where we can find Doran. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest and we can tell him about the symbol the Mooncalves made. Okay. Um, Harlow's Last Stand and It's in the Stars. So, this is going to be finishing out Natty's quest line, I think. Killing Harlow and then It's in the Stars. Uh, I should speak with Doran and hear what he has to say. I'm guessing that's finding the Golden Snidgets. Um, I don't know, though. I did want to see um I about what you told oh. me in the great hall. I would like to speak with you. Meet me in the undercroft as soon as you can. Uh yeah, I mean I can do that right now just because I think his quest line is like done. It's just talking until the end. I'm honestly kind of surprised it's still going. I assumed it would have ended with he taught us all of the unforgivable now? curses. Wait, why is there a... There's like a main quest thing. Weasley's watchful eye. I need to meet with Professor Weasley in her office in the Transfiguration classroom. Okay, um, we can do that in a minute. Let's first and foremost, though, go and see what Sebastian wants. If he's like, yo, let's go and do some more questing or whatever, uh, I think I'll make another video. Um, just kind of finishing out all of those quest lines because there was um, Sebastian's, Natty's, and uh, Poppy's obviously but then there was also I don't remember which one it was under um, Man Behind the Moons Deke uh, Deke's stuff which I didn't mess around with the Vivariums as much as I should have so I'm glad you came. might as well talk to Sebastian, him I've received your owl what's happened? Ominous spoke with Anne about what happened with my Uncle Solomon. She believes I should pay for what I did, but she won't turn me in. She said the guilt I'll have to live with is punishment enough. I'm so sorry, but I'm glad you know that you can at least try to move on now. The thing is, I think I've lost my sister, my twin, forever. She refuses to even see me. I can't blame her. I couldn't really blame any of you if you gave up on me entirely. You all believed in me, and I let you all down. Perhaps Anne will come around, or Anne may never forgive you. I mean, she might... Anne may just need some time. Surely one day she'll be able to forgive you. I hope you're right. I realize I can't undo what's been done, but I can try every day to make up for it. I owe you an ominous everything for standing by me. Well, it wasn't easy. But I believe in you, Sebastian. I've had a sense about you since that first day in Defense Against the Dark Arts. Seems so long ago. Thank you. I have no idea what's to come, but I'm grateful for your friendship. I'm glad you came to Hogwarts. Me too. A sallow grave. I... Uh... I mean, she might also not forgive you, just take that into consideration, considering it is called the, uh... Wait, did I click on the wrong one? Um, it is called an unforgivable curse, after all, so... She might just never forgive you for, you know, murdering your uncle. Her kind of new father figure after both of your parents were killed. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. All right, Professor Weasley, what's up? Is there actually more to the game than this? It, no, it said we finished the story, so what do you want? Professor Weasley, you wanted to see me? I did. We haven't had a chance to speak since I know you were quite close with Professor Fig. Hogwarts won't be the same without him. No, it won't. But I can assure you that he would want us to press on and that he would rest easy knowing that the future of the wizarding world is in hands like yours. Thank you, Professor. 
You've had quite a year, both inside and outside of Hogwarts. I've heard all sorts of rumors. You've ridden a Graphorn, befriended a goblin, rescued hippogriffs, even somehow ingratiated yourself with the Headless Hunt. How did you... It's harder to keep secrets around here than one might suspect. I'm just glad you found such a good friend in Miss Oni. I think her mother shares the sentiment. While I do not condone taking matters into your own hands when it comes to men like Rookwood and Harlow, your bravery is to be commended. Thank you, Professor. I... No need to discuss it further. What I would like to discuss is your wizard's field guide. May I see it? Of course. What do you think, Professor? I think you've been busy this year. I see some progress here, but quite a bit of your field guide has yet to be completed. Fortunately, you do have some time to prepare for your OWLs. I will confess, I had a sense about you from that first moment you came bursting in late to the sorting ceremony. I am pleased to see that my instincts were correct. To think you've only been with us a year and you'll already be taking your OWLs, well, it's nothing short of astonishing. Thank you, Professor, for everything. You are most welcome. I look forward to seeing what you do during the rest of your time with us. Okay, so that was just her checking in and saying, yo, you've got more stuff to do. What's going on? Why is there a lock on this? Reach level 34. Uh, I am not level 34. I am... What level am I? Okay, that doesn't help. I'm level 31. Holy crap. Okay, I'm gonna have to go and do some stuff. I should attend the end of year feast in the Great Hall. Reach level 34. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to do some off-screen grinding for that because I am way lower than that. Um... All right, cool. Well, then with that, I think we are going to go ahead and end the episode here. Um, I will go and do some side quests and stuff. Not these ones. I want to keep these. But I'll just do some of this other stuff, get some experience, hopefully. And uh, next time we can wrap up these last couple of quest lines. And we can also um, check out the House Cup. I, I don't know. Maybe it'll be just one big long episode i don't know how long all of this stuff is going to take so i don't know if i can fit it in one episode or not anyways though with that we are going to go ahead and end the episode here if you enjoyed the video please make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you all next time for some more hogwarts legacy have a good one everybody bye